Okay, I've got a new project here and we'll go ahead and import package, custom package, RPG character, mechanism, animation pack, version 6.3. Okay, let's import everything. After importing, you're gonna see a bunch of warnings in the console. You can ignore those. Also, you're gonna see this little pop-up telling you about the input and tag presets. So let's go ahead and load those. Go to edit, project settings, and input manager. Click this little preset button and load the input manager preset. Now we'll do the same thing for tags and layers. Load the preset and the layer manager preset. Okay, now let's go load the sample scene. And when we press play, everything should be working. Okay, now I'll show you how to use the new Unity input system if you wish to use that. So open this package and import everything. So you're gonna get these warnings because we don't have the input system package installed. So go to window, package manager, Give this a minute, input system, and install. Okay, we're gonna restart. To double check that you've got that running, you can go to project settings, player, and come down here to active input handling, and we can see it's on the input system package. So now we need to go to our prefab and remove the old character input controller. And then add the new input system controller. And we also need to add the player input script. And we set the input action to the RPG input actions. and everything's working correctly. Next, we're gonna load in the Cinti Studios Polygon Fantasy Characters package. Okay, now let's copy the character over. So we'll unpack the prefab. Load in one of the characters here. And let's move the IK hand script over to the new character and change the controller to the RPG character animation controller. Okay, let's choose one of these characters to show. Choose the peasant. And let's scale this up to match. Oh, like that. And then the next step will be to move all the weapons over. So we'll expand the character skeleton. And we'll take all the left hand items and move them to the new character. And the shield, go to the left forearm. And then all the right hand weapons. And now we can delete the old RPG character model. And let's run this and see what happens. Okay, we're getting a warning. This is for the perfect look at, so let's fix that. Okay, expand the look at bones. So now we'll add in the neck and the head. And the forward axis for the neck will be the inverse Y. And then the next parent bone is also inverse Y. And for the head, got forward Z, 
and then the parent is minus y. And then reset to default. So no more warnings. Now let's see how that looks. Okay, looks pretty good. For the last step, we're gonna check and make sure that the weapons are properly placed in the hand and set up for the IK hands. So first we'll set up the left hand object. So grab the left hand bone, drag that in there. Okay, let's switch the two hand sword. I'm gonna hit T to slow the game down. And we'll zoom in and check out the placement. It's not quite in the right position, so let's adjust that. Okay, the right hand looks good. So what you can do is come over here and copy the component. And then once the game is stopped, and paste component values and come back and run it again slow it down again and go in there and see that it's properly placed and so then we'll do the same thing with the attach point to get the IK hand properly positioned as well okay so more like that so we'll copy the component stop the game and paste the component values. So now everything's properly positioned. So you just have to go through and do that for the rest of the weapons and then you should be good to go.